Hello and welcome to my snake tutorial. In this video we create a cool snake. First click uh, right and add a blueprint class, add an actor, name it BP Orb, double click and first uh, we add a static mesh use uh, sphere object um, where is it where is it where is it ah here it is okay uh, next we scale the object a little bit okay next step is we disable the collision for this object and save and compile. We move the window to the main window. Okay. Mm, drag the object. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now we go and scale a little bit more. Okay, now we add a variable, follow object, and set this to actor. Mm, now remove this, and we set this to expose, to set from other blueprint, and now first step is to check uh, the follow object is valid okay and the next step is we uh, need the location from the follow object and we need the forward vector okay now we multiply the forward vector as float set 20 and add this value okay Uh, okay, and now we need a smooth movement and use the four in tab two. Um, we need the actor current location and the new location. We use the delta seconds for delta time and set the interp speed to 15. This is part one. Next, we need the rotation. We can move this a little bit down. Okay, now uh, we need to get actor rotation. We uh, need the fint look at rotation. We have to move the orb into the right rotation. So the start is the actor location. This, it's the target. Okay, the uh, follow object is the target, and the current actor location is the start. And uh, now we can make this a little bit smooth um, and use the air interp to. Okay, this is uh, the current and this is the target. And next we use the delta seconds for delta time 
and set the in tap speed. Uh, I think 10 is okay. Okay. And the next part is we set actor rotation and location in one function and connect the uh, location part. Now split the rotation, we only need to set char and connect. And I think this is all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next is to uh, save and compile. And we go to the blueprint, player blueprint, go to the begin play part. And first we spawn on, no, first we set, uh, we add the variable for a follow object and set the first follow object to player. Okay, here's set to actor. Now set uh, the last orb, okay, to self, and uh, now we can use a for loop and now we spawn the orbs. We spawn actor from class, select the orb class, BP orb, and the follow object is the last orb. And for each new um, orb, we set the last orb to this object. Okay, each orb has to follow the last. Or we make create, we create ten objects. Uh, arrow. Okay. I think is we split the spawn. Yeah. Yeah. I think we split this. And now it works. Okay. Looks fine. And now. We can test it. Oh, you can see. So is a little bit too a little bit too large, but it works. <laughs> okay, um, we go to the uh, player and we set to hidden in game. We don't need him at this time. And uh, next is go to the orb and scale it a little bit down. I think zero and one more. Test. Okay. Uh, a little bit more. No, test. Looks funny. Okay, um, <coughs> we set to uh, two. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, yeah, we have a snake. Okay, cool. Now you, you can set a material and uh, play around, have fun. I see you. Bye.